Module 2, Lesson 5, Solving Equations Involving Absolute Value. After this lesson, you need to be able to solve absolute value equations. Let's learn solving equations involving absolute value. Absolute value equations contain at least one absolute value expression. The simplest form of an absolute value equation is the absolute value of x equals n. Since absolute value represents distance, you must consider the case where the solution is x units from 0 in the negative direction and where the solution is x units from 0 in the positive direction. There are two places that have the same distance. So let's look at our key concept of solving absolute value. When we're solving, there are two cases to consider. If the number inside the absolute value is positive and if the number inside is negative. Consider the equation absolute value of x equals 3. This means that two points on the number line where the distance between 0 and x is 3. Those are the solutions to the equations. The distance between 0 and negative 3 is 3. So negative 3 is a solution, and the distance between 0 and positive 3 is also 3, so positive 3 is also a solution. Again, this just means that if we have the absolute value of a number, we're going to end up with two answers, a positive version and a negative version. When we graph these, you graph those two points on a number line. And as we're solving, you need to consider both cases. Example 1. Solve an absolute value equation when n is greater than 0. Solve the absolute value of y plus 2 equals 4. Then graph the solution set. So remember, when we're doing this, we need to consider both cases. One where it's positive, one where it's negative. So case 1 here y is non-negative, so positive, then we take what's inside the absolute value, set it to the positive version, and then for case 2, we take what's inside the absolute value and set it equal to the negative version. Long story short, just take what's equal to inside and set it equal to positive and negative of that number get rid of the absolute value symbol, and now you're just solving both equations for the variable. To do this, I would subtract 2 from both sides and end up with y equals 2. Solving the other, I still have to subtract 2 from both sides, but this time I end up with negative 6. So the solution set would be negative 6 and 2, which means I would graph those two points on the number line. Hopefully you noticed that as you're going through this, when you're solving for the variable, you end up doing the same steps for both cases. You just end up with a different number because you started with a different number that it was equal to. But solving it was the same process. Then, just like before, we need to make sure we're checking. We're going to have to check both things. So if I plug in negative 6, I get negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4. Is the absolute value of negative 4 equal to 4? Yes. Absolute value just means the distance from 0, so make the number inside positive, if it's not already. If I plug in 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Is the absolute value of 4 equal to 4? Yes. Again, take what's inside and make it positive. Even if it's already positive, it just stays positive. Check your understanding. Graph the solution set of the absolute value of 2t minus 4 equals 8. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer you should have got negative 2 and positive 6. So again, the quick way to solve, you take what's inside, set it equal to the positive, and take what's inside, 
and set it equal to negative, and then solve. So both, I'm gonna add four to both sides, 2t equals 12, so dividing by two, t equals six, there's that point, and adding four, I get negative four, so two t is equal to negative four, dividing by two, t equals negative two. If I plug those in, six, two times six is 12, minus four is eight, absolute value of eight is eight. That works. Negative two, two times negative two is negative four, minus eight is negative eight, absolute value of negative eight is eight. Also works. Example two, solve an absolute value equation when n is less than zero. So solve the absolute value of three x minus four equals negative one. Given our equation, that would mean that the distance between three x and four is negative one. Since distance cannot be negative, the solution is going to be the empty set shown with a zero with like a slash through it. Okay, so the solution is an empty set. The quick way to tell if you can solve it or if it's an empty set is looking at this number here. If that number is negative, you cannot solve it. If you look back to example one, we were able to solve it because that number was a positive number. Check your understanding. Which statement must be true for the solution of the absolute value of ax plus b equals c to be empty set? Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. In order for it to be an empty set, this number here has to be negative. So c would have to be negative. 